Good day everyone and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trading. We strongly recommend to stay on a sim as long as needed before you start using real money. This is a very serious matter. Uh, today I want to uh, cover the 400 takes. Uh, yesterday on the uh, yesterday video we covered uh, is the new template for the ES 400 takes. And then in the other room uh, today live uh, we hit uh, the first time uh, the target uh, 1000. Then we hit another 1500 or something. And then um, 1700, and this is the fourth round for today. And um, between yesterday, we made the target until today. Uh, has outrun any chart I have, actually. And uh, despite we run it uh, on the live uh, channel, on the other channel, uh, is keep getting the target and then I showed how to rearm the auto trade again and let it go for one more round one more round and one more round and if we want to look at the trades you can see it doesn't matter today is 3450 on the last trade but the consistency on winning trade and the amount of winning trade and lose because here we we did three session here and this is the fourth session on the fourth session it just had one losing trade and now uh, we are uh, it is uh, 320 and uh, we're gonna go ahead and close that position you have a button on the top you close and on the afternoon session I uh, nailed uh, 4,400 and uh, this one was shared to all our traders uh, yesterday so this is very impressive um, uh, new template uh, we have shared with the rest of our traders. Uh, we still have, and we have another ES. I'm, I cannot bring everything down. Uh, I always highlight my favorite chart, and the 28 second is my favorite, scalping, and it's already nailed 1000. And uh, I'm just covering the ES because you can approach the ES on a a total different time frame if you want to and uh, this one here uh, it is uh, also a new chart uh, I'm testing it before I give it to my traders and it took a couple reversal and it done 1775 on the ES uh, on that trade here also on the five minutes if you are uh, you like the five minutes we still have two trades out, uh, 1,700. We're going to close it right now. And the total amount, it is 3,100 for the afternoon session. We still have one also on the afternoon session, the two minutes. And the two minutes, we have around 900. I know I can get much more on that one by looking at the technical chart but uh, we're gonna go ahead and close it we're gonna close position and done at 2887 <clears throat> one of the tricks i have been showing on the other channel uh, that uh, today uh, we spotted on the other channel and we uh, told the other guys that uh, the es was stuck on the chat uh, between support and resistance uh, most of the day let me show you something if we look at the ES the ES was between the support and resistance all day long today the ES really did not move the only breakout out of that channel here is 
uh, here at three o'clock, uh, the ES broke out. But this is amazing result for an ES is not trending, and this is amazing. So uh, this is a really um, the technical chart, and if I close now, the trade is too late, but I can potentially take more profit if I want to override the auto trade. It's all the way to the target at 45.35, which can give potentially another $700. So that's why <clears throat> it's important to understand also looking at the one minute technical chart, because that technical chart, you don't need to do anything, just read it. When there is buyers, and if you look, there is another market analyzer here from one minute to 30 minutes. You have the trend exhaustion, you have the signal, and you have the bears, and the signal also here. And then <clears throat> if you have also the target and the high time frame. So what you need only to read it, what it says, and then, <clears throat> then you will uh, understand if there is potential on that trade to increase the max profit on that trade <clears throat> because you don't want to trade anymore. The less trade you do, the better off you are. The message those people are sending that you can uh, auto trade day and night because they cannot even uh, trade a paper bag. They tell you to optimize, to get rid of you because they don't know what to do in the, in the, in the real market. and. Um, Auto trading is not a wash machine. You turn it on in the morning and you come back in the evening and it should be full of dollars. That does not exist. Only <clears throat> poor, naive people, uh, they take this kind of bite, but there is no such a system exist. Uh, you turn on your auto trade in the morning and you go honeymooning all day long and come back and your bank account is full. The reality is totally different. So on the Nasdaq, is a um, 1600. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go very fast with it. I highlight what I, what what chart I like for my members, so they can concentrate on those time frames. Uh, ES, I highlight the ES, uh, and which on every video I highlight my favorite ones, the ES 170 tick. And now I like the 400 ticks more than the 170 ticks because I don't want to say, but the amount from yesterday afternoon when we made the template until today, the amount we earn on the 400 ticks is more than any chart uh, can earn in a whole week. So I don't want to talk numbers and not because of weakness, because I don't want to mislead any trader because I don't know if tomorrow the 400 ticks will make money or not. I have no clue. But um, what I see, I see there is a very good potential chart and I can see consistency uh, for also among <clears throat> the beginner traders because the precision auto trade is not a big auto trade, but yet it is a very powerful entry on the precision, does not require any filter and it has been outranking some other auto trades we have. <coughs> we have around 15 auto trades or maybe up to 18 or 19 auto trades. I, I, I keep counting and I keep forgetting. But uh, uh, we have two full-time programmers working non-stop and now we are diving into newer projects. So uh, the thing is it's not about it just an auto trade, it's also to update the auto trade, update the system the market is moving extremely fast. So in an auto trade without an education update and keep it, keep up with this market algorithm, absolutely you fall behind because you have to remember you're not the only one is auto trading. There is millions of traders out there are using auto trade. The ones are more advanced auto trading the more more educated, the more are more disciplined, those are the ones that are gonna win over somebody uh, gluing uh, an ATR indicator on a chart and call it an auto trade. So uh, uh, 
this is the gold five minutes scalpin 1000 uh, cl8 range 2000 uh, cl4 range 1230 and the difference between this and this, this one took one trade, and this one took three trades, you know. And this one has a cheaper stop loss. This one have a bigger stop loss. So it depends on the trader what he wants to do. It's not me. If you want to go on a higher stop loss, big swing trading, or if you want to go on a smaller stop loss and then take a smaller trade, then you can do that. It's each, each trader have a different approach to the market our job to teach him both and he can decide what fit his budget and what fit his stomach when he's taking a risk because when you are sadly there are some people they <clears throat> they concentrate on how much they can make and they skip the biggest part the most important part uh, that how much they can also lose so if uh, we have an auto trade can make four thousand what is your risk on the four thousand and and they only count the winning but they're not considering the losing trades because they think because they are naive traders they think if you are auto trading you don't have losing days that's how they think but in the reality even when we were working at the bank in europe they were taking 300 trades uh, with a forex or gold or silver and there were half of them they were losing trades with the 13 IT people on in the other room adjusting the auto trade so this is a guy coming out of a box telling us that you can um, uh, go honeymooning and come back and keep your auto trade running <clears throat> well you better be careful because um, if you turn on any auto trade, including our auto trade, and you go honeymooning for one month, months and leave the auto trade on, most likely you come back and your account is finished for many reasons. It's not also the performance. Also, there is a slippage. Sometimes you get overfilled by your broker. Sometimes your computer restart. Sometimes you have a power problem. Sometimes you have an internet problem. There is many uh, facts in there that you cannot go to sleep and you have your auto trade on and expecting everything to be fine. There is a lot of high risk when you are, <coughs> it's okay to be away from the auto trade for 10, 15 minutes, or you can log in from your work on a team viewer. If you are have your auto trade running from home, but you should not be leaving the auto trade and attempt it so you have to keep your eye on it at least every 10 or 15 minutes and keep your eye on that chart to see where we are in the market is the most important uh, on the cl and this is what we have covered in the other room the reason i forgot to tell you the reason because this market Today, all day, it was uh, got stuck in that channel between a support and resistance. Uh, and uh, we've been telling a uh, small trick to the traders that when you see uh, the EAS is stuck in the channel, you turn around on the CL. And the CL, because older people knows that when the, when the EAS is not moving, you turn around on the CL and it is trending. When we started today on the live uh, webinar on a YouTube, within less than 10 minutes, most of the CL charts locked their position and locked their profit. Some of the trades on the CL, they were in the market less than seven minutes and they locked profit. So we started, I started the auto trades, all of them, two minutes before 10 o'clock when we started live. By 10.05, half of the CL, the locked position. And as we see here, <clears throat> uh, CL9 range, CL4 range, uh, CL, some of, some of them, they go two rounds today. Some of them, we left them alone from morning. Uh, this one here, we started at uh, 
uh, 58 we were done by 1007 and this one was a uh, close this is the CL uh, this one here went two rounds the five minutes 1000 this one here went two rounds 45 seconds this one also went two rounds three minutes this one here uh, did go one round on the three minutes uh, this one here went uh, one round done at 10.30, uh, four minutes. And this one, uh, we we did two rounds on this uh, base on 20 seconds because on the 20 second you can always finish very fast. So if you look on the 20 second and and, uh, and this, is, this is a statement. And if you notice, there is a gap between this trade and that trade and this trade and that trade. When you are using a dummy auto trade based on moving average like ATRs, MACDs, whatever, those uh, kind of st stupid auto trades, they just go take a trade above or below moving average. They're not, they're not really monitoring the market or the price action. Where you have the other person on the other side, he's, he has more advanced auto trade than you are and his auto trade is monitoring the market and him monitoring the technical chart also and that is going to put you behind and that guy is going to win over you because you're thinking about yourself you're auto trading you're not thinking on the other side there isn't more advanced people than you are they have smarter auto trade than you are they have more educated than you are and they are watching the market more than you are so your chances become very thin to get any consistent consistency in the market if you have potential you wanted anyone give you money for trading or if you wanted to switch career <clears throat> we cannot sell hamburger one day and another day we cannot drive a truck without a license so what I'm saying is you need to step slowly into this trading environment and you have to be educated before you can change career. Uh, switching a wash machine on in the morning on Ninja Trader called Auto Trade and you think you change career. The matter of fact is uh, you just stepped in a new school and you have four years to graduate. Simple as that. And if you are a lousy student, can be extended to eight years. And if you're still stubborn, you don't want to learn, uh, can it drain your money out, your pension out, and can drain you out emotionally, and it has an impact on your family. This is not a place for a brushing off the reality of life that you work, you earn, you don't work. We're going to collect potatoes at the end of the day. A lack of money, a lack of experience is equal to disaster. Does not equal to success. Any way you want to put those two words together, that will not, too negative does not result positive. A lack of money, a lack of experience is equal to, to disaster. Working hard, knowledge, education is equal to success. And in the, in the trading, it's not the amount of money you have because you have to put your money on the side. You need to stay on demo until you have your both feet on the ground and then you turn on your auto trade. There is no such a thing, guys. And don't take this crap you hear out there. Trust me. There is no such a thing. You're gonna take an auto trade on Sunday and turn it on on Monday and you're gonna live happily after. There is no way. I've been, I've been trading for 27 years. If you want to give me any auto trade, 
I'm unaware with, which I can trade an empty chart. I don't need an indicator. I don't need anything. Give me my Fib line, take everything away from my chart, and I will do very good trading on that. If you give me an auto trade today, any auto trade from any company, even the one we design, we know everything about that auto trade in and out. Before I send it out, I need to test it for 5,000 trades on a sim before I can send it out to our members. So if you give me an auto trade, in order for me to go live with it, I need to take 5,000 trade on it to understand how this auto trade behave under bad condition or when the auto trade is a stress under the market condition, how this auto trade is going to react. <clears throat> an auto trade, there is a limitation on an auto trade. It's not just a magic work. It's a technical, mechanical instrument calculating, sending the trade to your broker. It's a very complex. So the idea about can I try your auto trade? In order for you to try my auto trade, I need to educate you for three weeks. And I'm not doing this for free. So if you give me an auto trade, I need to test it for three weeks, four weeks before I can even do anything with that auto trade. Because I want to know where and when I can use that auto trade in the market. It's not to just wash machine, you, you turn it on at 9.30 and uh, the money start rolling. This is a myth. You will never see that in your lifetime. And this kind of language is used to lower you down and a buy an auto trade. But the reality, and then they tell you to optimize because they don't want to get their hands dirty and teach their clients because they don't even know how to trade a paperback. So they cannot support their clients with the market. They tell him you optimize the, and even we receive phone calls. There is traders, they don't even want to tweak the auto trade. They just want to turn it on and start to bring the money. Those kind of people, they call us, asking us, do I have to tweak the auto trade? I'm looking for an auto trade. I can turn it on and forget. So this is not reality. This is a trader is passing by and he will be in and out with his money within a couple months max and we will never see him again because eventually he's going to lose. Let's cover the TI7. This auto trade have uh, around 10 different entry and around 10 different filters. Once you start learning the precision auto trade as a friendly use, if you want to go to higher level, you can go to higher level with a more bigger auto trade, let's say, and you can set uh, the condition of the trades the way you want it the it's like when you want to trade manual, how you want it to trade manual. So you can cut because the big variety of filters and uh, even we have the institutional auto trade is even twice as big as this one. So, and uh, here is a YM and um, when when a trader come in, if, if he is beginner we start him with the precision auto trade if the guy has a higher level we put him on the NTI 7 auto trade if the guy has more level or higher level we put him on the institutional auto trade and there is some people are even on a higher level they go with the precision auto trade because it's simple and easy and powerful. So 
you cannot line up two, three, four, five, six hundred traders to take the same trades or the same auto trade. It doesn't work this way. So there is one guy maybe want to scalp, another guy want to swing trade, another guy is aggressive, another guy has money, another guy he has two thousand dollars and he thinks he owns the market. So you have different people and when people come in you have to evaluate that person where to start with and if he thinks the auto trade is wash machine we start him from zero to readjust his brain first before we adjust the auto trade so 15 years uh, training people we have trained thousands of people on the last 15 years so we know how to approach those people how how to put a plan for those people it takes time it's nothing overnight but um, uh, and the trading is uh, the opposite of when you get married and go honeymoon uh, when you when you get married you're having a good time you go honeymoon you enjoy it nine months later you start dealing with diapers uh, actually trading we all uh, did go to hell first and then to heaven you know so with the trade then you deal with diapers first and then you go on honeymoon and after so with the trading is the opposite is no one has started trading including myself or anybody did not go to hell uh, many times before he starts seeing the light and and there is no one born from his mother know how to trade and there is no such a thing called smart or dumb it is about discipline and training really I mean you cannot say if we have a hundred soldier uh, because they are dumb or smart or training they become all soldiers hundred captain that's mean a hundred captain they were trained to be captains here at the trading the more you not wasting money on trading room education and buying those junk CDs no it's a wrong uh, message and education is we provide a free education and education is understand where is the market and develop your own skill not uh, go pay somebody else to be so when I concentrate on education not to pay me because we don't charge money for an education but not to go waste your time with those junk you know and buy CD and he's gonna show you uh, way to heaven this guy don't don't know his way back home so um, try to develop your own this is the healthiest because when you are sitting alone in your auto trade and you know a little knowledge in here I have a trade on the ES that is $500 in my hand on the table right now what should I do should I lock my profit or there is an extension for another thousand on that trade and that you have to develop your own with a little guidance and 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 uh, you don't need to pay anyone to be educated. You can do it yourself. You can uh, adopt uh, looking at the one minute chart. Don't go with Renko. I have never seen anyone making a living money on a Renko. The Renko built for those naive trader because there is so many junk out there. There is so many junk auto trades. When you put it on Renko, it looks profitable. And the reality, the rank bar. If you have a rank bar, uh, take, let me give you an example. Any rank bar, including ours, okay? Take one minute, take your one rank bar, let it run from 9.30 to 4 o'clock on an auto trade, any rank bar, and put the same chart, another rank bar, the same auto trade, everything the same photocopy of the first chart at the end of the day 
you go on one of the chart, you right click, and you reload that chart, you will find the one you reloaded can show you there is a potential $50,000 and $100,000. The one you have not reloaded will show you you are in red. Test yourself on a ranker bar, including our ranker bar. On any ranker bar, people say, swear to God, cross my heart, my ranker does not repaint. They all repaint. They all cover their mess by hiding behind a ranker bar, whether it's a, an indicator or an auto trade. Once you see a ranker bar, run. Because the ranker bar does not give you the true story behind the trend. If you look down here on your Ninja Trader, it's the, by the minute. You don't fool yourself, you know. So the Renko is 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 really done. We should not be talk about this, but the guy who created the Renko, he was an ex hacker. By accident, he got two and two together, and everybody stole that. I <laughs> he was a hacker, and everybody hacked his Renko bar. Everyone. And, and everyone has rank of bar now, and then they tweaked it, and they tweaked it, and the, this was probably 13, 14 years ago. It's just around the corner. I mean, it's not that old, the rank of bar. So uh, the rank of bar is a story by accident by one hacker, and then everybody adopt the idea because can cover a lot of garbage under the hood. It's like when you go to a bedroom, looks clean, but if you go under the bed or inside the closet you will find something can make your heart stop and what it, what it does the Renko bar is cover all the garbage and then it looks nice on the outside and that can mislead uh, naive beginners and uh, that's why you don't see those institutionals those the ones control the market using Renko bar they laugh at us they're laughing at us, all the way to the bank, if you are using a rank of bar. So uh, get out of this junk and get yourself one minute if you want to really learn. And uh, put an empty chart or a couple favorite indicator and try to develop your own trading. Because when you're trading alone, it is it's all up to you. It's not up to this guy you paid him a year ago to teach you how to trade. He forgot you already. So, CL8 range, NASDAQ 5 minutes, 1100. Uh, this one here based on one contract, 525. Uh, ES 4 minutes, 13. And then NASDAQ and 1470, and NASDAQ 2 minutes. And this one here, it is, uh, we are going to close this one. It's the same thing as the others. We're going to close and close at 18. Uh, and this one was a beautiful trade uh, on the YM two minute, took it all the way to the top, 2080. One more second, I would like to show the institutional auto trade. Uh, the institutional auto trade is double as big as the TI7. You can imagine the magnitude, how big it is. So when the trader wants higher education, we give him more education. If you want to stay on a medium size, he can stay on a medium size. If we get an advanced auto uh, guy, we have something for him to keep him busy the rest of his life. We have a beginner, we can keep him busy the rest of his life. Because every trader is different, you know. So here it is, and he as we still have one more trade. And, uh, and we can close it, close, 2,975, uh, the ES four minutes, this one also, this is, this is a four minutes, and this is a four minutes, this one working on one entry, and this one work, 
none of the institutional auto trade here are working on the same entry. All of them, they are working on a different entry. What working on the four minutes here is not the same entry working on the five minutes there. So each one of them is approaching the market on a different entry. The only time you're gonna enjoy this privilege where you have not just a lousy auto trade, with the same price as one auto trade, you're getting the whole full toolbox, snap-on toolbox, ready to tangle anything in front of you. And this one here is based on one entry, and this one here is based on another entry, four minutes. This one here is based on another entry, this one here is based on different entry, and this one is based on different entry. The two minutes, total different entry, total different entry, total different entry. What I'm doing here, uh, after we did the major overhaul, this is the third time this year we do major overhaul on this auto trade. What I'm doing right now, we have sent it out to our traders, but right now what I'm doing, as what I have showed you a couple days ago on the video, what I'm doing, I'm putting, because I don't believe in replay, and I don't believe in backtesting. In my experience, all platform, not to just Ninja Trader, backtesting replay is just wasting time. They don't give the reality. So the way I test on a live data, and then what I do, I sprayed out this ES only, the ES. You can trade NASDAQ, Dow Jones, whatever you want. But I sprayed out to start with ES on all, all kind of different entries to see which one is adopting the ES only. And then I start shrinking it to three charts, two chart, one chart. And then it will be my permanent chart for me. And then I can adjust it on the weekend for optimization. Once I'm done with the EAS, I do the same approach on the NASDAQ. I lay down 10 different entry on 10 different chart. And I see which one is gonna give more money at the end of the week, not on a daily basis. I wanna see the risk, reward, profit, some, like when uh, we are testing the 400 ticks on the precision auto trade, has outranked any chart on the precision outrank within two days. Immediately you spot success chart. I don't need a brainer for that. So once I start slimming down the entry for the ES, then I'm done with the ES. And then I do the same thing on the NASDAQ and you will find out NASDAQ the entry on the ES, it will not be the same on the NASDAQ. It will be different entry. The YM will be different entry. The DAX will be different entry. The DAX will be different entry. Then you start tangle with the, once you lower down to one chart or two, then you start hammer with filters to see which one works on the ES which one works on the NASDAQ, which one works on the YM. So when a guy come in and tell us, can I borrow your auto trade for one week, that indicate that guy, no matter what you give him, he's gonna wreck it. Because he thinks he just can turn it on. And this is it. Uh, when you are auto trading, as I said, if you give me an auto trade, it's gonna take me time before I can pinpoint that auto trade, which direction I can take that auto trade to. So this is because we rebuilt this institutional and now I'm, the, the, the programming is done. The cost was amazing. It was way over budget, three times over budget. Doesn't matter. But now, uh, now the programmers has done their job. We have two full-time programmers. 
Now it's our turn to do our job to slim it down where we want to take it, how we want to approach this auto trade to the market. This is our job. And then once we filter those charts, we hand over what happened after the filter to the traders. And the trader's job is to maintain that template 10 minutes a week to readjust it. So everyone have a job to do. And this way, everyone is doing their job. So that's, well, that's what I'm saying, folks. Trading is not a just piece of cake. You know, sometimes can be piece of cucumber, you know. Fol folks, that's all what we have for you today. And uh, I say thank you very much. And I wish you a pleasant evening. And, uh, um, and I will see you on Thursday on the other channel live at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Thank you very much and God bless you.